Here's a parcel of uh, lower grade knobby and sea maple from Lighton Ridge. Rules in millimetres, the material's been wetted. The white that you're seeing there sometimes is the light reflecting. In other cases like that, it's a piece of clay. Um, if we just keep tumbling it, it'll end up wearing the opal away, so we tend to get to a point and just leave, have to leave what's there on, on the um, opal and um, consequently it goes out with the parcel but the price has been um, adjusted accordingly we'll just go in a little bit more to have a bit better look okay i've gone in a bit and um, you can see there's some color in it like that piece chip there, a bit like that's just sandstone, a little bit of opal. Bit of honey podge, although that's um, not a very good example, sometimes this material has sun flash in it and um, it gets faceted. That's actually a fossil of a clam. That's where it's joined. Opalized shell. No colour bob looks, fortunately. That's a piece with a bit of a red flash in it. It's showing up there a little bit. Some of these have been rejected by the cutter, but that doesn't mean that you can't cut something. A piece like that is probably nothing much, but something large like this it's worth having if you've got a saw to cut thin slices off and look as you go. Sometimes the material changes. A piece like that's the same, same deal. Cut a little bit off. Have a look. Not a lot in it, but a lot of fun having a look through it, I think. It's not very expensive. I don't know if I showed you that one before, that um, rolling black blue flash in it there. Another piece with some blue on the top. Something like that, you can just grind the top and have opal and potch mixed together and makes a nice pendant. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed looking. Cheers.